Huh. Looks like mum has finally figured out how to use email. Let's see what she sent me. Well, there's nothing weird about that. After all, what could be safer than mum? Oh no. Mum, what have you done? Oh no. Well, my mum figured out how to use computers today with the dreaded mum.exe virus. I need to go outside every 20 minutes or my computer will scold me. This sucks. Mum says that the best antivirus is just not using the internet. Besides, all computers come with antivirus software these days, right? But this does raise a question. Is Windows Defender good enough to stop this madness and protect my computer? The short answer, Windows Defender or Microsoft Security Essentials is a good antivirus. However, it lacks some crucial features that I will go through in a moment. We will see whether it's good enough as a standalone cybersecurity product. What features it is missing compared to premium antiviruses. How does it compare to premium antiviruses and how does it compare to free antiviruses available? So let's start by looking at how Windows Defender can defend your windows. To start, the best place to look is their history with AV Test, a reputable third-party antivirus testing company. The CyberLab has used these ratings to determine its favorite premium antiviruses. You can check out our favorites from our past video with a link in the description. Windows Defender used to be incredibly weak, dating back to 2016. However, its more recent tests reveal more positive results. It manages to stay comparable with top antiviruses like Norton and Bitdefender. Windows Defender is is built into all of the latest versions of Windows. It even offers simple ransomware protection. For many computers, Windows Defender is good enough. Yes, mummy. You've set up my browser to only enable access to pbskids.org. You're ruining my life. If you're only using your computer for basic everyday things, Windows Defender might suffice, but anything above is just using Microsoft Word demands a better option, especially considering their low AV test scores. As a standalone antivirus, we give Windows Defender a three out of five. Okay, so Windows Defender is missing some things to stop this madness. So let's see how it compares to premium antiviruses. Windows Defender works best when you have nothing but Microsoft products. So if you have an Android phone or a Mac in the house, then Windows Defender won't help you. You'll also find this logic applies to browsers as well. Fan of Google Chrome? Too bad. Windows Defender has browser-based protection only available for Edge. Defender also doesn't have any integrated dashboard, so if you're covering a lot of computers, you can't review scans. Windows Defender also typically lags behind regarding scan speed and performance. You won't be able to do anything else while using the platform because it isn't optimized for performance. If you want a call to complain, there's no dedicated customer support for Defender either. You just call Microsoft and hope the guy you're talking to knows something about your antivirus program. Third-party security companies also have much more comprehensive list of features. These features include password managers, behavior-based detection, vulnerability scans, VPNs, identity theft protection, and more potent anti-phishing tools. All in all, Windows is not a security company, and it shows. The lack of cross-platform and device compatibility, the limited speed and performance, and absent customer service doesn't do it any favors. Add on the many features we've come to expect from premium antivirus companies that Windows doesn't offer, and it simply falls short. Two out of five. It doesn't even have parental controls. Our recommended premium antiviruses are Norton and Bitdefender. Both have excellent scores and helpful security features at a fair price. To get some fabulous discounts and support this channel, you can find some links to both antiviruses in the description box below. These links don't cost you more, they actually cost you less. Amazing! Okay, let's take a closer look at specific features behind Norton and Bitdefender. Norton 360 offers a full suite of protection. This includes a much better anti-phishing system that blocks almost all phishing attacks. Windows Defender falls short in this category. Norton also works to improve your firewall with custom security-focused rules. It preempts files that haven't been given network access by prompting you first. In cases where Norton doesn't recognize its digital signature, you can make yourself more aware of what goes in and out. However, granting permission if you use some obscure network tools can be annoying. Norton also offers insured identity theft protection through LifeLock. As one of the most trusted companies in the world regarding identity theft, 
Lifelock and Norton have a firm collaboration. What about Bitdefender? Well, it doesn't have firewalls, but provides exceptional banking protection and a VPN. Banking protection is done through SafePay, a protected browser that keeps online banking secure. So any sort of online payment you make is hidden behind a wall of encryption. Bitdefender also has a unique vulnerability scan to remind you of computer exposures you might not be aware of. All of this is in a pretty inexpensive package for multi-device protection. For other types of communication, Bitdefender offers a VPN. A virtual private network encrypts your connection data from people you don't want access to. I can think of a few people who don't need access. So when it comes to premium antiviruses like Norton and Bitdefender, Windows Defender definitely doesn't have all the same flashy new gadgets. Three out of five. But what about free antiviruses? Is there any better than Windows Defender? Well, that depends on your operating system. Avast and AVG offer excellent free antivirus solutions if you are on Android, iOS, or Mac. On Windows, Defender is good enough if your budget is non-existent, so it's a pretty level playing field. But nothing beats free, so we'll have to give it a 5 out of 5 on price. But what are your thoughts on Windows Defender? How about these other antiviruses? Let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, leave a like if you thought the video was helpful, subscribe if you want to see more videos like it, and please tell your mum that you love them. <coughs> yeah, mum. Yeah, I love you too. What? Give me back my internet privileges! Yes! <laughs> that, 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 that cat has shoes on! <laughs>